my latest creation here. It's nearly finished this year. I just got to wire it all up and make lid for it on the top here. As you see, the first switch on the left hand side is the power switch on and off. The second switch is the D pulse switch. I call it the D pulse, it's the double pulse. Because in this circuit here, I've got a modified polarity indicator. Leave out the 470 ohm current limiting resistor because there's already one on the board. That runs to the switch and back to these here. Instead of using one LED like I did before, or flash LED to pulse the output, I've got two LEDs, flash LEDs. So this is going to pulse both halves of the AC cycle. So when the AC goes one way, the LED flashes on and off, it pulses it. And when it goes the other way, and the other one pulses it. And that's that there. And after that, I've got a normal polarity indicator, which I've got to stick on in there yet. The idea of the polarity indicator is that if a normally should approach, or whatever that, I'm expecting to slow the cycles down so that one, they'll go from both LEDs to one LED. This is the flash of LEDs for the pulse, both halves of the AC cycle. And then we've got the output here, right? Now you can see I've designed this box here, so you can see how it's all neatly done. So I've just got to wire it up. Now today is bloody 43 degrees, so I can get away that it gets a bit cooler. I've got the air conditioner on. But I don't want to do the wiring just yet, and you know, because I've got to wire up the back of the switch here, the current limiting resistor for the power LED. Here's my Q slit. And I'll tell you how I do these here. You get yourself a hiss of labels, and you use a paper punch. You punch out the dots, okay? You use a standing knife or a box cutter knife to slice those dots, and you use a pair of scissors for easiest to surgically place these little dots on here and then you can use a black fine outline fine point texture pen like this here and write your details on see so that's how I decal my circuits here so I get all the details written down on there okay this is the AC frequency output here audio frequencies okay now I'll show the inside of the box here it's all nicely coated in grey colour spray putty. Of course, a bit of it come, peels off every now and then if we get a bit of dust in there. I'm not going to wire this up yet anyhow, so I'm going to get the go yet anyhow. But that's how the circuit box is designed. Okay, thank you for watching my latest update. And, oh, by the way, this is... I designed the circuit here based on the 7.8 Schumann resonance. And from the 7.8 numbers, I derived a bunch of Fibonacci numbers, which I built this capacitor array from those numbers here. So this is all Fibonacci numbers derived from the 7.8 Schumann resonance. Okay, thank you for watching this video.